Welcome back. With more and more incidents of stray dogs attacking people on the roads in Kerala, the state government is turning to the Supreme Court for permission to kill dangerous strays. My colleague Neetu Regukumar has this report. In Kori Code, a stray dog lunged at a young boy who was riding a bicycle. The boy was so taken aback that he fell off the bike. The dog bit the boy's hand and refused to let go. Finally, the boy tried to go inside a house and that's when the dog let go of his hand and ran off. In Kannur, two students ran for their lives as a pack of dogs chased them. They spotted an open gate of a house, managed to get inside and locked it just in the nick of time. These are just two incidents from Kerala in two days. There are many others which haven't been captured on camera. There are an estimated 3 lakh stray dogs in Kerala. They will be vaccinated by the 20th of October. But for the long term, the Kerala government has approached the Supreme Court seeking permission to kill rabid and violent dogs. Two action plans. There will be an immediate action plan and there will be a long term action plan. Immediately, we are focusing on vaccination of uh, stray dogs. Secondly, the ABC program uh, of sterilization uh, will be further intensified. NGOs feel the state has to be thorough in identifying rabbit dogs and not just cull strays en masse. How can you be sure which dog is rabid, which dog is aggressive un unless you do a lot of observing of these dogs on the street. Once a dog is sterilized, a whole lot of males and female, uh, male and female dogs, this aspect can be taken care of. Secondly, a proper vaccination camp has to be held annually by the panchayats and the corporation. At least five people have died after dog bites, despite getting the anti-rabies shot. Kerala Health Minister Veena George has written to the centre to check the quality of the vaccine. Steps have also been taken to study genetic mutation in rabies virus. Kerala government is organising a massive vaccination drive for stray dogs in the next one month. But this alone will not solve the issue of stray dog bites. A long-term solution which includes ABC programs, animal shelters and feeding centres are required. With video journalist Ablash MS in Tiruvananthapuram, Neetu Raghu Kumar.